and so on. And then if I go to read only, then we're at uh, we're at sales and purchase read only. All these are set to read only, and then we could check these off. Oh, we can't check these off. So let's say we're gonna to go to standard. I'll say standard for us and say, cancel, add a person, add a personal message, and then I'm gonna send invitation. So you could add a personal message. I'm gonna go ahead and send the invite. Here's what it looks like on the other end. So we'll go ahead and, and say, okay, let's get access to it. Get great guitars would like to access their account at zero, get great guitars users. Okay, I accept the invitation. And Jane's like, I'm in, I'm in. And boom, hi, let's get up, uh, let's get set up. Use this dashboard to get to uh, get an instant overview of your business and so on and so forth. So Jane's ready to roll. And then back on our admin in, I just refreshed the screen up top. And so now we've got uh, Jane over here. We've got the three dots on the, on the side, which we can change uh, permissions or delete Jane if we so choose so pretty easy process and like i say i i, I think they say that you, there's no limit which is still kind of shocking to me because like i say that's usually one of the things that causes people problems in some other you know online softwares that's one of the things that oftentimes online softwares limit is the number of people that can have access so pretty pretty nice pretty good, cool with uh zero uh, on that front all right, so let's go back into our settings again. And so now we've got the currencies. Let's take a quick look at the currencies. So uh, so you can send invoices, reconcile accounts, and get paid in over 160 different currencies. And uh, our video, Learn How Zero, updates rates automatically and calculates gains and losses. And so you can get into that in more detail. Now, currencies can be a little bit confusing when you're first kind of jumping in and thinking about how the currencies are going to be working because like if you're in a single currency like the us dollar or something like that then if all your transactions of course are in us dollars that makes things uh easier but if you're purchasing things and you're using different currencies as you're purchasing then of course you have these exchange issues so just as a general rule uh, uh the, the idea would be that your financial statements are going to be in one currency we can't have mul you're not going to generally have multiple currencies on your balance sheet and income statement you have to have one measuring set like like the metric system you know in measuring other stuff you can't have multiple rulers and then and then meters and what at the same time <laughs> and you have to have one measuring system but if you want to pay someone in in other currencies that means that you're going to have this uh, th these gains and losses for the currency exchanges. So you can you can do that uh, and zero helps you with those kinds of transactions and deal with those basically uh, exchanges as the rates change. So generally the idea would be that you're gonna have your set currency, whatever that is, in our case, the United States dollar, and then you, you could set up adding other currencies where you might make transactions that you're gonna be paying uh, in other currencies and then uh, you'll have to deal with the fact that if you have like an accounts receivable transaction that you are going to be paying with a, a separate currency at the point in time that you put the accounts receivable on the books, the exchange rate will be different than the point in time that you actually pay the, the or get or receive the money from the accounts receivable in this case at some future point in time. And again, there's going to be basically a, a currency kind of gain or loss situation between those those two time frames and so zero can help you to set up that system once you kind of get the idea of it uh it's not it's not too bad to deal with and it's quite nice that more and more the systems uh zero here is is has the access to the appropriate exchange rates and whatnot to be able to calculate these items as you do the uh different as you pay things in different currencies so we might like we ha we might do a separate whole kind of course on that an another section on that because i think people especially people outside the united states where that which i think zero uh has a a good market in is uh use the may, may use these uh currency exchanges more often so we might like dive into that in the future it's a pretty interesting 
topic and it can be a little confusing at first, but uh, so we might dive into that later, but not in this practice problem. So connect apps so you can add and manage third party connections to zero. So if we go into the apps, this is where we can be adding apps. The major apps they have here are uh, simplify shift work with staff scheduling. You've got the automatically sync your Amazon, eBay, Shopify. This is another big uh, area these days is to, is to have the Shopify and, and Amazon stores and whatnot, and then to be able to link them to the online softwares and zeros, one of the big two for that process, obviously zero and uh, QuickBooks online. There's, there's integrated apps to help you to manage that because oftentimes there's inventory involved and whatnot. There's grouping of payments that we have to uh, group together to pull that information into the system. So there's different ways to kind of deal with those online uh, shops. And so that's a, so that's another area that I'd, I'd love to go into in more detail, which we might do in another course or section, but not in this one. Then we've got uh, as an ecosystem staff picks apps and small business app for your 2022 finance. The Sin 7 core is the number one choice for businesses that want to manage all products. Okay. And then the last one, if I go back into my settings again, is the subscription and billing. And we'll get into the features in a future presentation. So that takes you to your subscription and billing. Uh, and then we go to manage subscription if we so choose. And currently we're in a trial period at this point in time. So we could then buy it and we'd have a different uh, subscription. So in a future presentations, we'll, I'm going to go back to the get great guitars. We'll dive into the other settings on the right, which are the uh, features settings. And then we'll dive into actually doing some data input here.